welcome to the day of a life of a student slash wannabe entrepreneur. It's currently 5, 5 a.m. And yeah, I just woke up. So now what I'll do is 20 minutes meditation, listening to the birds, and then start working. It's a Saturday. So, yeah. I'm going to get going and do the meditation and just let's get started with the day. So, really excited about today. So, it's going to be a good day. finished so just finished meditation uh 20 minutes i recommend you doing it now i go over my most important part of my life and that is a two-hour block where i do the most important thing for my business now this for you it could be the same thing but it could be also the most important thing for school for example, or the most important thing for your career. Now, for me, the most important thing is written on my wall. I'm going to show you. So it's it's really important to have this really in mind, right? I just put it on my wall. It is getting me close appointments. Closing appointments is the most important thing because that's what's going to get me money. That's what's going to grow my business. So if no it's the answer i stop and i will ask your myself what will and if i do get if i do things that are getting me closed appointments i continue doing it so that is the only thing that matter is closing appointments now for you it might be the same thing for you it might be even getting better grades or learning more or be the best in your uh, in your um, company, okay? For who you you are working with, or achieve a really you know important thing that you want to get. So doesn't matter. What I recommend you to do is like write it down and put it on a wall where you see you where you see it every day, and then you will remind yourself of the thing that is the most important thing for you. What I do, what is getting me close appointments? It's two things. Outreach, getting in contact with people. I know it's weird, it's 5.30 a.m. I'm not going to contact people, but I will prepare those contacts. So what I will do is send 100 messages, is build my list of emails that I will send over the, like during the day, automations. And two is, you know, how do you sell? How do you close the appointment? You, you, you know how to sell. So you will learn how to sell. So for me, I only have two hours before I go for a run. So in those two hours, I will send a hundred messages and I will build the list for my emails. Now, it's not going to take two hours. I know. I think sending a hundred messages will take me the, the whole two hours, but I will push myself uh, to, to do it either way. So you have to have goals as well, measurable goals. So you know how, my, how much time you take to do the things and how many of them you do. Two things important. You have to measure them. Okay. So, yeah. Um, I know it might seem ridiculous, but that's that's the way I do it. And uh, I'm seeing results right now. So I think you might as well. So, yeah, 540. Um, and, and, yeah. So this is actually my day. <laughs> So yeah, I have this in my in my PC as well. Okay, so that's pretty much everything I had to say. I'm gonna see you once that is done, the whole block time, and then we're going to go for a run. Okay, so it's currently 
I just finished the uh, two hour block where I just sent uh, 137 messages and you know it was pretty pretty productive. I also you know um, could automate systems in uh, with email um, and that was pretty nice. What I will be doing now is go for a run. Uh, like an hour run and uh, I will maybe film maybe not but yeah I, I will go for a run and we will see I uh, will see you uh, afterwards okay so I'm ready to go uh, right now you might be hearing with my phone but that's that's okay um, I'm ready to go so one hour run normally I do like Normally I go for, uh, for I go to the gym at 6 a.m. But whenever uh, it's weekend, they only open at 9 a.m. And I don't really like to wait that long. So on the weekends I usually go to for a run, and then if I have the time uh, later in the evening I go for uh, a gym session. So right now an hour run, and I will see you afterwards. Okay, so I just came from a 11 kilometer run, <sighs> good, a good run, and so now I'm gonna take a shower and I think you know which type of shower, cold one, cold shower, just to get my energy back and just have this power to do the more work, right, for the rest of the day, because the day is just starting, okay. So you have to imagine, I normally, like this is my perfect day, right? If I have a perfect day, I do all of this. I wake up early, I work, I go to the gym or go like have a run and I do all that stuff, right? But normally it's not like that. There's some days where I I can't get up or, you know, I feel tired and I don't, I don't want to do it. But I do it anyway, because, you know, it's... Like doing the hard things, it's what makes you more confident in your ability to perform every day. And that's the thing, like it's action, it's, it's putting on the hard work. And if you do, I, I swear to you, if you do all that every day, you're going to be so confident in like your work, in your life overall, you're gonna have so much confidence. So. Do the hard things. I mean, wake up early. Go, and I mean, you don't have to do it all at the same time. You can do one thing at a time. I didn't start doing all the things at once. I started doing it progressively, right? And it's better, like, progress is better than nothing, okay? So yeah, that's that's why I just wake up early. I like to put myself through dif difficult situations, right? Put myself, you know, work, really early, wake up early, meditate and go for a run, go, go to the gym because I know that this is going to help me in the future, right? In the long term, it's going to help me every time. And then there are, you know, some other things that you can eliminate like smoking, alcohol, coffee as well. I mean, if you do it, I think it's bad, but you can do it either way, it's, it's okay if you do it. But you know, those are some things that you have to eliminate completely out of your life. Watching endless Netflix TV series. You're gonna not gonna do anything with it and you're gonna forget it. So those are some things that I mentioned, but you know, I do it when I want to entertain myself. That's normal, you won't, you know, but not a long time, right? Sometimes. And I do it as a reward, a reward for something that I got, not because I feel like, you know, but yeah, that's something that I want to share. Uh, I'm going to drop here the, my run for you to see. Um, I'm not that fast yet, but yeah, uh, I did like one hour uh, or something. So 
yeah, now I'm gonna take a cold shower and get back to work, get back to work. So, just finished uh, having a shower. Now let's get back to work because I have a lot of things to do. So, I have like a two hour session of work and then I will go for a walk and then another two hours and then I'm gonna eat. So also I didn't mention, but I fast, I don't eat anything until 1 p.m. I feel that I'm the most productive because I can just focus so, so much better. Um, for you, like, I, I, I mean, there are some people that cannot work without eating anything and some people can. So, um, yeah, I, I prefer to work without anything in my stomach because I feel better and I, I'm more productive overall. But I drink a lot of water. That's really important because after a, a run, uh, you know, burn so much. So, yeah, I drink a lot of war water. So in the first two hours when I wake up, I try to drink one hour, one liter of water. And then I just try to drink uh, as much as I can. So yeah, so yeah, no. now uh, two hours of work, so let's get to it. So it's currently 11 uh, a.m., 11, 12. So I just did two hours of work two hours and something so now I, I I want to take a break because like I've been I've been working for like two hours straight so yeah I just for, for the break I'm gonna walk I'm uh, just going to walk um, with my phones and listening to uh, an audiobook that I will put a screenshot on here um, it's basically about sales it's Jordan Belfort that does the Wolf of Wall Street uh, is the main uh, so it's not the is the one that lived uh, the Wolf of Wall Street. So yeah, right now I'm gonna go for a walk and uh, after that I'm gonna work a bit more and then eat. Just came from the walk. Now another two hours of work to do and then I'm gonna eat something. So. Let's get to it. So it's currently 11.30. So I will eat at 1.30 something or 1. I, I will see if I'm going to be too hungry. So yeah, <sighs> I'm starving. So it's 11 and I just need to eat something because, you know, it's it's starting to heat. So yeah, I'm just going to have a break, eat something. Normally I take like... 30 minutes or something just to relax. I'm also watching quite a lot of podcasts, long format podcasts. And one of those podcasts is, um, what is it called? The Diary of a CEO. The Diary of a CEO, I'm going to show you because it's really, really nice. And I advise everyone to see it because there's a lot of people uh, that, you know, talk about, about fitness, about wellness, about business talks about a lot of things that are interesting for me. So if you are interested in the same things as me, you should watch it. Uh, now there's a lot, some of some of the, uh, some of the podcasts are not that cool, but you know, most of them are really nice. So, uh, so yeah, I'm going to show you now. So if you check my, my screen, um, Diary of a CEO, it's this guy. And so he has a lot of people. So you can see that I've, I've watched some of them. So the um, Shopify, the founder of Shopify, for example, Shopify president. Um, and, you know, there's there's a lot of good things here. Uh, you know, Jordan Peterson, Robert Greene. So you can see a lot of people and they say like a lot of interesting things. I just, I, yeah, I recommend definitely to, to watch at least one, um, one, uh, you know, podcast some some that you that you think are interesting so yeah so i'm gonna need to eat so let's get to it <laughs> so what i will be eating i'm gonna share everything so uh this will be eating so a lot of chicken and salad and this is what i will be watching i will not watch the whole thing but like for 30 minutes or so so okay so just finished eating watching uh, a bit of the podcast 
and it's like two yeah it's two o'clock two p.m two in the afternoon so i will have a lot of a lot of exams next week and so for that i need to study so this part of the day is a more chilled part of the day so i will be studying most of the time so i will be studying a total of six hours and it's like from now till 9 p.m so that's pretty much it i'm gonna eat in between walk a little bit in between as well but that's that's the idea so six hours of focused work um i have a lot of projects to do and i will have seven exams so that's going to be interesting next week of course yesterday and the day before i already uh, started watching some of the things that i needed to to do but i definitely need to make more progress today but yeah that's the plan for the rest of the day pretty much uh, doesn't really change a lot <laughs> from what i've been doing up until now um and yeah that's pretty much it now i'm going to start a focused um hour uh, block uh two hours actually and um yeah I'll, I'll get back to you when 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 that's done what's up what's up so it's been some time it's been a while i've worked quite a lot and you can clearly see from yeah, so you can clearly see from my table that I've been doing quite a lot and I haven't had a break but it's okay because you know I, f I feel good so whenever I'm in the you know flow state I think yeah when, whenever you are in the flow state I, th I don't think you should stop it so I didn't I don't I don't stop normally if I am in the flow state I want to talk about the flow state though how can you be in the flow state how can you be in the flow state for you guys if you don't know a flow state is when you're just in the right spot when it's not too difficult but it's it's diff you do something difficult but you have the still have the skills to do it so you have some skills right not all the way through but you have some and it's not the most challenging thing you are doing but it's challenging enough when you are in that point you can imagine that as a, like a graph, challenging and skills, like not to the hundred percent in either side, but like eighty percent on each, and the other like in that right point. And I think the idea to get to that point is just to work, because just to get going, basically. And then you're going to eat that point at some at some point. Um, no pun intended. But, but yeah, you're, you're going to eat that spot when you work. The more you work, the more, the, the more you have um, the chance or the probability is on your side to have the flow state. So yeah, that's a quick tip for you. If you want to have a flow state, just do the work. And what I also do is I like to listen to classic music when I work or that's weird but metallic music so hardcore rock um, because in either of those i cannot sing yeah because if it's hard rock i don't know what they're saying most of the time and if it's classic music it's like a piano or uh, you know something that is just instrumental so nobody is speaking because when somebody is rapping or whatever i'm always like concentrating on one th what they are saying so those are two things but yeah right now i'm actually going to uh, finish um wh what i'm doing now it's actually eat eat transfers uh, that i'm studying so i'm gonna finish that and then i'm gonna eat something and after eating i'm gonna get back to it and do fluid mechanics because that's amazing <laughs> No, because I have an exam. So, um, so yeah, yeah. Catch you, catch you afterwards. Bye. So just finished eating. Uh, you know, I, I stopped the um, what I was studying. I finished eating. 
just ate like a, a salmon with with pasta which was pretty nice so right now um yeah i need to get back to uh to studying for like two hours more and then i will plan my day tomorrow for tomorrow i will show you how i plan and how i track my performance of today uh, so you also have to so i it's not mandatory but you should track what you did every day you know because you know okay in that day i didn't do that well because of this because i didn't sleep that much or because i was sore or you know you have to if you want uh to to, to become better you have to measure it and so that's what i try to do i didn't always do it but i started doing it like for Two months ago, I think, yeah, two months ago, and it's been pretty well so far, but I will show you, uh, I can even share what I, um, my documents in the description if you want, um, so my documents, it's all based on, on Sam Ovens, so if you don't know Sam Ovens, I recommend you check his YouTube channel, because he teaches so much about productivity, how to become how to eliminate distractions, how to focus more. So he, he talks about this really in depth and he knows really well what he's talking about. So I recommend watching that. But for now, I want to, you know, study a bit more for like two hours more and then track everything, plan my day for tomorrow. I will show you how I do it. And uh, then I'm gonna sleep because sleep, I have to wake up early tomorrow and do it all over again. Because the, the, the game is consistency, it's not perfection, it's not doing it once and showing it to everybody, it's consistency and even uh, like today I wasn't productive, um, I, I wasn't productive as I, as I would like to, to be, but we have to move on, I tried, so I just knew uh, I just know where I lost some time that I shouldn't and next time I know that I will not waste it and you know just yeah I think the most important things is eliminate distraction eliminate your phone usage eliminate all the bad habits and then you progress from there okay it's the best thing so yeah two more hours of work then I will check you I will check with you my tracking and my progress and whatever okay so, bye. So, just finished for today. Um, I'm feeling pretty tired right now. So, yeah, just did two more hours of work. Uh, just do a lot of. I just did a lot of um, fluid mechanics. But yeah, it, it it you know it's just I just finished. That's pretty nice. So right now, what I am going to show you is how I track everything that I do and so yeah I'm going to just show me show you my computer for you to have an idea so here you can see this uh, for example this is uh, what I call the war map calendar and so this is for the month of May okay so this month every day that passes I have some things that I need to do and then I go over them and I put a red block or a green block if I did them or not so this is how I do it and then we have like a dashboard of the whole year and this is all with Excel okay I have also the same thing but like for my health right so if I go over here on May I have every day um, if I did the things or not so if I slept well if I you know everything and this is done by consulting.com the like the business that Sam Hovens had before so um, and this is a nice a nice thing to to do to follow up with what you're doing right now. So this is what I use to track my my things. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it uh, for me for today. For you two guys have an idea to no right now it's close to 10 p.m. I'm gonna show you. Wait. So yeah, it's been a, a great day overall. I did a lot of things. I wasn't the most productive because um, there were 
a lot of the times, you know, where I could be faster doing things, but shit. So that's 9.43. Uh, I think it was pretty nice today. Right now, the most important thing now is focusing on sleeping really well. So, so what I do is I read the book for about 30 minutes. Um, and right now I'm reading uh, Fanatical Prospecting and also Gap Selling, but Gap Selling is more during the day whenever I have things about selling stuff. So that's pretty much it for today. I hope you guys had an idea of how a perfect, of a perfect day, perfect Saturday for me is. It was pretty much, uh, you know, focused on work blocks because I have to divide my working as an agency but also studying for my exams that I'm going to have for uh, next week. So that's pretty much it. I hope you have, you know, I hope you learned some things about me. And um, yeah, I will put some things on in the description if they are important. And catch you guys soon. Bye-bye.